Good day, everyone. So today, let's talk about the classifications of enzymes. In this lesson, you will know how to describe the enzyme classifications according to the IUBE, International Union of Biochemistry. As you learn from the enzymes, most of the enzymes have the name end with ASE, AIDS. For example, sucrase lipase. Some of the enzymes, they still use the traditional names. For example, pepsin, renin. And some enzymes, they end with zyme. For example, lysozyme, ribozyme. And some enzymes, the names can use to can be used to describe the functions. For example, dehydrogenase, oxidase. Okay, so the enzyme names that end with ASE. So, for example, here sucrase, which hydrolyzes sucrose into glucose and fructose. So the front part is to uh, is the name of the subject. And these are some of the uh, enzymes named with the traditional name. And also the enzymes named and with zyme. As I mentioned just now, from the name of the enzymes, we know what is the function of the enzyme. For example, hydrolase catalyzes hydrolysis. According to the IUB, or the, the current name is the IUBMB, International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, recommended a system classification based on the type of the reactions. There are six major classes named Oxidoreductases, transferases, hydrolases, lyases, isomerases, and ligases. Oxidoreductase catalyzes oxidation and reduction, or we call it as a redox, by transferring hydrogen, oxygen, or electrons from one molecule to another. The examples are dehydrogenase, oxidase, reductase, and catalase. So from this redox reaction, we can see that, see, the A, the here they have hydrogen atoms. So these hydrogen atoms is transferred to compound B. So that means A is oxidized, B is reduced. So the example here are the uh, reactions that taken place in Krebs cycles, malate, okay, the malate dehydrogenase catalyzes this malate and the uh, oxidized NAD. So the malate is oxidized into oxaloacetate, whereas the oxidized NAD is reduced into the reduced NAD. So the other example is showing is here glucose reacts with oxygen and then catalyzed by glucose oxidase into the gluconic acid and the water, in which the glucose is undergoing, uh, undergoing oxidations, whereas oxygen undergoing uh, reductions. Transferase catalyzes the transfer of a functional group from one molecule to another. For example, phosphotransferase which is, uh, consists of phosphorylase and kinase. So this one involves the transfer of the phosphate group, okay, or phosphate group, okay, into glycogen, into the glucose, so to form the glucose one phosphate here. So the glycogen is an N plus one becomes an N -mer polymer, other monomer. Glucose ATP. So hexokinase involves the transfer of the inorganic phosphate group from ATP into glucose. So to form glucose 6 phosphate. And transaminase 
or we call it tra uh, amylase transfer is involved the transfer of the amino group from an amino acid into an organic acid. So to form the alpha ketoglutaric acid and then another new amino acid. Hydrolysis involves the hydrolysis, so which play the important role in the condensation and hydrolysis. So normally this involves the reversible uh, reactions and uh, by additions of water here. So examples, amylase, lipase, protease, nuclease, phosphatase, and so on. So everything here, they involve water. Okay, they involve water, the hydrolysis of water. Line is the breaking of chemical bonds without the additions of water. Even though the reaction is quite similar to hydrolysis, but for the line acids, they will uh, involve no water molecules. Often creatine or usually create the double bonds. For example, decarboxylase, aldolase, hydrase, hydratase, cyclase. So from here you can see they are removing the X and Y compounds. So the A and B here they form a, a double bond. Isomerase, they cause isomerization. They rearrange the atoms within the molecules to form the to form an isomer. So for example, glucose 6 phosphate, okay, glucose 6, uh, glucose 1 phosphate is catalyzed by phosphoglucomutase, so to form the glucose 6-phosphate, or the phosphoglucoisomerase catalyzes the glucose 6-phosphate into the fructose 6-phosphate. So isomerization is taking place. The last one, which is the ligases. Ligases is to join two molecules or two compounds together by forming a new chemical bond. So by using ATP as the source of energy. So there are many uh, examples here. So peptide synthase, DNA ligase, and so on. Okay, so they involve, for example, here, amino acid RNA synthetase that catalyzes uh, the amino acid, which is binds to the tRNA to form the amino acid tRNA complex. So these are the six major classes that are recommended by IUBMP for the classification of enzymes. Then each class of enzyme is divided into many subclasses. So here we will not need to focus too much on these subclasses. I just give you one example. Uh, see the phosphatase enzyme that remove phosphate group by hydrolysis. Even though they are removing the phosphate group, but it's because they involve the water, so uh, they are known as hydrolases, hydrolases. However, kinase also involve the transfer of the phosphate group. Okay, they transfer this remove. They also involve the phosphate group. But this one, they didn't involve any addition of water. So the kinase is classified as a transferase. So these are the summary table, okay, for these six major classes of enzyme. So from here, you can see oxidoreductase, transferase, hydrolase, lyase, isomerase, ligase, and these are the reactions that catalyzes by each of these enzyme class, and also the examples. So the end for this uh, today lessons. I hope you can uh, understand more about how the enzymes are classified into the six major classes according to the IUBMB. Thank you. Bye.